Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So I'm sure some of you, maybe a lot of you, have uh, previously seen or heard uh, or read uh, about someone who says or about whom it has been said that that person speaks a ridiculous amount of languages. Let's say 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, even 200. And uh, I did that too. I mean, I've seen uh, articles about Cardinal Metafonti. I've seen lists uh, of uh, historically most successful polyglots. And the number of languages that, that were in those, in those articles is just staggering. 70, 80, even really 200 plus languages. And when I was younger, I was like, wow, you know, these people must have been extremely talented. I mean, to learn 200 languages, it's just something really incredible. And then I, as I was learning, all, growing older, and I started learning more and more languages, and I saw how difficult it was just to learn one, not to mention to sort of keep up with the languages I already spoke, how time consuming it was, how many just factors um, influence your learning process. And I was like, how in the world can these people learn, could have learned so many languages? And of course, I grew more and more skeptical. And not until maybe three or four days ago, I was just skeptical and did nothing about it. But three days ago, I had the idea to actually try to calculate how long it would take a super talented individual in the world today with everything at their disposal, internet, the best of con conditions you can think of to learn 100 languages at the best possible, at the best conditions possible. And then compare it to a list that I found online uh, of the historically most successful polyglots. So people who speak, I think the lowest uh, number of languages was 38 and the highest was 100 or 200, I think. So uh, yeah, I would like to show you the results of my study today. Bear in mind, my math is terrible and I might not be the best language learner in the world, but I did consult um, what uh, I'm about to show you with my friends who study mathematics and with a lot of very talented language learners. And so hopefully, hopefully this is going to be at least some sort of basic point of reference uh, for you to see which claims are at least slightly realistically possible and which are straight out just ridiculous. So let me just share my computer screen with you real quick. As I said, I was trying to calculate how long it would take a super talented individual in the world today under the most ideal of conditions, borderline utopian with unlimited resources to learn 100 languages. Now, I did this because from having this data, having that piece of information would help us realize that that is the absolute bare mathematical minimum faster than that it's just absolutely impossible it's, this is very important because you will see that if someone has claimed uh, to have spoken 200 languages it was just mathematically impossible to have learned them in their lifetime for that person to have learned them in that lifetime because a super talented individual in the world today with ideal conditions in the world today would not be able to learn them today so 200, 300 years ago, it would have been even more impossible than it is today. But uh, let me just tell you what I plugged in into my little formula. And again, I'm not the, the world's best mathematician. So if you see any problems, please do let me know. Um, there are several problems here that I wanted to address. The first one is that in these articles that I've read, it was almost always said that these people have known or spoke this and that number of languages. And the term to know or to speak is quite broad. And we don't really know what that means. However, in many of these articles, it was said that these people have excelled in these languages or that they dominated these languages or that they had an, an excellent knowledge unparalleled in these languages. And therefore, therefore, I decided after consulting this with my friends that I'm going to use as a standard uh, the C1 level in the international uh, language proficiency scale. Uh, maybe I hope a lot of you are familiar with this scale. It's a scale which goes from A1 to C2, A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, with C2 being the highest one and A1 being the lowest one. Doesn't, might not say too much to you if I tell you, if, if I say it like that, but a C1 uh, level of proficiency in a language is about 80% or 75% of the level of my English now. So it's a pretty, pretty high level. And again, I, you might say, well, you're being too strict. <laughs> It's, it's impossible to, to speak 100 languages at a C1 level, but that's exactly my point. It's not possible. And plus, in the articles that I've read, 
like I said, the word dominated these languages, mastered these languages, were fluent in these languages, was used prolifically. So for me, C1 is actually lower than the expression to master or to dominate a language because I don't think I dominate or master English. So these people would need to speak better their language is at a level that is higher than the level of my English right now. The second problem that I had was that they said that they speak languages. But as we know, languages come in different shapes and sizes. There are easy languages, there are difficult languages. So I couldn't just, you know, I couldn't decide on how long on average would take this or that person to learn a language because they are very, very different. It is uh, an American learning Chinese and an American learning uh, German would reach their C1 level at a completely different time. Chinese much more difficult, German much, much easier. So without going into too much detail, I just decided we'll have two languages, two language types. We'll have a simple one and it would take a super talented person and this after consulting this with a few friends of mine who are extremely talented language learners, we decided that in order for a super talented person in the world today with unlimited resources and the best conditions, it would take three for that person three months to learn a simple language that means if you are for instance german and you want to learn dutch it would take you three months to learn dutch into a c1 level if you'd be a super talented uh, language learner with the best possible conditions and then on the other end of the spectrum we'd have a difficult language and again if you'd be a super talented person learning a difficult language it would take you three years and this is really borderline utopian to get that language to a C1 level. Now, we have a formula because this, this relates to uh, language, the, the rel relativity of language learning, of, of the difficulty of learning a, a foreign language. Because yes, if you are learning Mandarin Chinese, it is going to be a difficult language for you. But as soon as, as soon as you know it, every language in uh, the Chinese language family, every next language is going to be very easy for you or relatively easy for you. So if you just look at, for instance, Mandarin Chinese and Cantonese Chinese, and you pick e either one and you don't know any other language from that language family, these two languages are going to be roughly equally difficult. But if you learn Mandarin Chinese and after that start learning Cantonese, Cantonese is going to be much, 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 much easier. So what I did, I made this little formula, which is that that person our hypothetical person would learn one difficult language and then followed by four languages from the from the same language family. So that would be one difficult language, three years, and then uh, four simple languages, three months each. Now, again, to cut even more slack to this person, I decided that that person would be a born trilingual, a fully functional trilingual person. person. It is very, very rare in the well, very rare. It is rare in the world today to to have someone who grew up as a fully functional trilingual again i say fully functional trilingual which means that all three languages that this person speaks all three languages equally well as a native language by the age of i don't know six and then again to cut a lot of slack for this person i decided that the next language after these three native languages that that person would start learning uh that person would start learning at the age of six. Now, this is just learning these languages, and I hope it's not too confusing, but I just wanted to lay down the simple uh, rules and conditions that I set out for the study. And uh, besides learning the foreign language, the person also would need to practice uh, all the languages that that person already knows. So again, cutting that person an enormous amount of slack, I decided that the bare, absolute bare minimum would be to practice one, for each language that that person knows, one hour every two weeks. So for instance, that person would grow up as a trilingual and by the age of, at the age of six would start to learn its fourth language. But apart from just learning this language, he would also need to practice the three languages that that person already speaks. And that would be at least one hour every two weeks. Plugging all of this into my super complicated uh, calculations, which you can see over here, uh, I came up with this list. And let me start from the last person on the list. So Cardinal Mezzafonti, a lot of people mentioned this person saying that he is one of the most talented polyglots in history and he was said to speak 39 languages. This is what Wikipedia says. Mezzafonti was well known for being a hyperpolyglot who according to Russell 1858 spoke at least 30 languages with rare excellence. 
That said, that is at least C1. He was reported to have spoken nine other languages fluently. All right, so according to my study, right, he died at the age of 75. He spoke 39 languages according to Wikipedia and Russell in 1858. According to my study, it would take him 28.75 years to learn these 39 languages and 2.2 years to practice. So if you add this up, and I, again, I didn't know too well what to do with these two numbers, so I just added them up to have at least something. It would take him 30.9 years just to learn 39 languages under borderline utopian conditions in the world today. All right, we continue. Francis Burton, um, by the end of his life, Burton had mastered mastered at least 25 languages or 40 if distinct dialects are counted. So let's say he spoke 40 languages. It would take him, according to my study, 29 years uh, to learn these languages and 2.3 to practice. So in total, 31.3 years. Now you have to realize that this is, he would go, he would be like a machine. He would be born a trilingual guy, start studying at six and learn a language, a difficult one in, in three years, and then every three months learn a new simple one. And he would go like this for 31.3 years. It's just, it's just, this is, this is the absolute bare theoretical mathematical minimum. No job, nothing, just learning languages. All right, we continue. Uh, there is this sir, gentleman, he was called W.J. Sidus, and it was said he entered Harvard at the age of 11 and as an adult was claimed to be conversant in over 40 languages and dialects. All right, so again, 40, as we calculated, it would take him 31.3 years, or in other words, he would be 31.3 years old um, when he would learn or when he would know uh 40 languages the problem is he died at 46 so even this mathematical theoretical super uh, uh improbable number is getting a little bit shady because you know he was he was 46 when he died we can move on kenneth hale 50 languages hale didn't just study these languages however he, he also learned them himself becoming fluent in tohono ohoam i'm sorry i don't know how to read that Jemez, hopi navajo Warpiri, and about 45 other languages and one more thing i wanted to read about him um What's most amazing about Hale, however, is the rapidity with which he could learn a new language, often being able to have a basic conversation after just 10 or 15 minutes of listening to a native speaker. Uh, it's absolute nonsense, of course, but uh, you can see Wikipedia is just full of stuff like this. Anyway, to learn 40 languages according to my calculations in the most utopian theoretical mathematical way in the world today, it would take him 40.6 years. We continue. Ziad Fazah, probably a lot of you know uh, who this person is. Uh, the Guinness Book of World Records up to the 1998 edition listed Fazah as being able to speak and read 58 languages, citing a live interview in Athens, Greece in, 19, in July 1991. Probably maybe a lot of you have seen also his uh, appearance in the Chilean TV show. Uh, I'm not going to comment on that. I'm just going to, to tell you how long it would take him to learn 50, the 50 languages that he claims to speak really well. It would take him 49.4 years. Again, theoretical utopian minimum. He is 62 now. So very, very, very improbable. Emil Krebs. He mastered 68 languages in speech and writing and studied 120 other languages. Again, the word mastered, very important. This is why I chose the, the C1 level. Um, and this is this is where it really starts getting really really interesting. So according to my study, it would take this person 59.3 years theoretical minimum to learn uh, 68 languages. This person passed away when he was 62. So as you can see, it, it starts to get uh, even with this absolute theoretical minimum, uh, just just not realistic. 
And now we get to these people who, where, where really the, the theoretical minimum is, is uh, more than, uh, than, than the actual age of the person in question. So um, this person, uh, von der Gabelens, the number of languages which, which Gabelens more or less thoroughly researched and which he was the first to have scientifically worked on numbers over 80. Citation needed. So 80 languages that this person claims to speak, it would take that person 70.5 years according to my study, to learn all those languages. The person passed away in 67. So, uh, Sir John Bowring. Bowring ranked with Giuseppe Mezzofanti and Hans Kono van den Gobelens among the world's greatest hyperpolyglots. His talent enable, enabling him at least to say that he knew 200 languages. Let me just continue. Uh, and could speak 100. All right. It would take this person 91.7 years or I should say it would take a super talented individual in the world today, uh, 91.7 years under utopian conditions to learn 100 languages to a C1 level and speak all of them at a C1 level. So clearly this person passed away in 80, uh, just doesn't add up. Really Melnikov, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to actually uh, put this gentleman on this list because uh, Willy Melnikov, some of you might know him, um, he is a, a Russian, I think, TV personality, I guess, and he had a head injury after which he started to say that he speaks a lot of languages and he said that he speaks more than 100, but um, it's, it's, it's just not true because, yeah, it's just, as we, first of all, we've seen from the calculations that it's impossible. Um, and second of all, I've seen the video where he said a sentence in 100 languages and uh, 99 of them or 98 of them were uh, invented sounds so but anyway i just wanted to show you how long it would take that person to learn 100 languages well not that person but how long it would take a super talented person in the world today to learn 100 languages and it would be 91.7 years that willie passed away when he was 54 unfortunately and then we have the the the, the sort of the greatest number of languages claimed uh, by one person and that is this gentleman over here, uh, he has claimed to speak 200 languages, and this is what Wikipedia says. By his death, he was set to speak or read more than 200 languages with varying degrees of fluency. Let's just, for the, for the we don't know whether that was C1, but for, just for the sake of this, this whole thing to see how ridiculous it would be if he would have said that he spoke these languages at a C1 level. To learn 200 languages uh, to a C1 level, uh, by a super talented individual in the world today, it would take that person 216.1 years. Clearly, uh, just just impossible by any standards. Now, um, if you would cut this person some slack and say that only half of these languages that person knew to a C1 level, we can just go here and we would see that that would take him 91.7 years and that person passed away when he was 88. So, as you can see, um, the numbers, in my study at least, speak for themselves. These are the numbers that I came up with. They are just for your reference. Again, my aim was to calculate how long it would take a super talented individual under utopian conditions in the world today to learn the number of languages these gentlemen uh, have claimed to speak to a C1 level and speak all of them at the, C at the, the, at the C1 level at the same time. Um, and yeah, just, just to have a sort of basic point of reference, of course, there are many, many things in this study that you could argue are uh, incorrect. You could say that that person could study uh, languages in parallel. I argue at that point that, spe that it would take them twice, uh, twice as long. So what would happen is basically the same thing. If you learn two lang languages consecutively or in parallel, the time would be the same. But there are mother many, there are mother. But there are many other things in the study that could be improved. However, uh, it is at least a basic point of reference to show you that if you'd want to learn 200 languages, it might take you 216 years, right? Because a lot of people, they sort of, they don't say, um, they, they don't talk about how, how technically impossible it would be at times to learn 200 languages. You just do not have the time, clearly. 216 years, this person passed away in 88. All right. So as you can see from this little math experiment alone, it is quite 
evident that most of these people just could have not spoken these languages at a C1 level at the same time. The last question that I ask myself is, what do I think? How, how many, what, what is the limit um, in the world today with, with all the, with just a real realistic life? Um, with, with having a job, having a family, having commitments, or just, you know, life going its, life going its own, own way. Um, what would be the limit? How many languages a very talented person, let's say the number one best language learner in the world with all the resources and basically everything that a really good language learner would need, including a very well-wired brain for language learning, uh, how many languages could that person learn in their lifetime? And I think, and, and again, like I said, it depends on what kind of languages they are, so we can't we can't, we have to have a really healthy mix of difficult and simple languages and so on. So all of this is factored in. I would say no more than 25, 30 would be the maximum. Again, C1 level at the same time. And that person would have to be dedicated to language studies their entire life, doing nothing else or very little, having very good support um, financial wise and so on. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the little study uh, that I did. Um, if you see any mistakes or blind spots in it, please do tell me. Like I said, I'm not <laughs> the greatest mathematician in the world. Um, and please do tell me, what do you think? How many languages would a super talented language learner under ideal conditions be able to learn during their lifetime? Let's say by the time they're 80 or 90. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.